Bonjour! I always get tons of questions about the tools and the containers that I use to depot my makeup kit, so I'm going to share all of that with you today. If you're on my channel, I would assume that most of you know what depotting is, but if you don't, it's just a way to downsize your makeup and your skincare because sometimes you don't need the full size container, and that's something that makeup artists do a lot because. As you know, our kit is very heavy, we have a lot of products and we usually don't need to have the full product with us. So we depot it to make our kit lighter and easier to carry around. This portion of the video is in collaboration with Ana Luisa. If you're familiar with my videos and my channel, you know I've been working with them for more than a year now, so I got to try many of their pieces. And let me tell you, I've never been disappointed. Their pieces are really good quality. I wear them pretty much every day and they don't tarnish. And one of the things I love the most is that they are fully sustainable, carbon neutral, and they are trying to use recycled materials as well. And even with all of that, it's still pretty affordable for the quality. They are having a special sale for Valentine's Day now. So if you were looking for a gift for a person that you love, it can be your partner, your sister, your mom, your best friend, or even yourself, because we all deserve a little treat sometimes. For example, this herringbone chain that I'm wearing today, it's something that's classic, it's timeless, so that's something that I always like when making a gift. They have it in gold and in silver as well, which is pretty rare. And to go with it, I also got these little hoops that are just the perfect size. They are not too big, not too small. They go with anything to go out for work. They're just great for every day. And if you're looking for a gift recommendation, I mean, these two pieces together as a set, I think is great. I personally would love to receive something like that. I also got this pearl choker that's super cute, modern, and I find that it's very easy um, to stack with the jewelry that you already own. You can use the code JUSTIN20MAKEUP at checkout to get 20% on your order, and that works all year round. And I will also put all the links to the pieces that I showed you today in the description box for you. Let's start with something that you will always find on my makeup table, no matter what job I'm working on. It's these magnetic palettes from Perfect Palettes. I've talked about it many times, I've been using them constantly for more than two years now, and according to me, they are the best ones. I've tried many different brands like Z Palette, MAC, but none of them are as good as this one. For example, this one is where I put all of my lipsticks. So the palettes initially come completely empty. There is a magnetic sheet at the bottom. You can buy separately some of these little pans. There you go, just like that. And they are actually quite deep. So they hold a good amount of product. Um, which is great, so you don't have to refill them too often. So you can melt or press or just like scoop out any of your creamy products like lipstick, um, concealer, cream foundation, anything that's creamy and kind of thick. And then you can just place it inside of the palette and that's it, it's done. So it's super easy to use. The magnet is pretty strong, so the pans don't really move around. I have three or four of these palettes that are for eyeshadows. Like this one, for example, that's full of Vizert eyeshadows. That are some of my favorites. I have another one that's for blushes. I have a couple with the Danessa Marix uh, powder highlighters. And I also have one with creamy foundation. So you can really customize these palettes the way that you want. Um, the possibilities are infinite, really. I know some people use them for actors' uh, touch-up kit as well, like you can even put a spatula in there, you can put some disposable tools, you can put some lashes. And why I love them so much is because of the size first, because it's not too small where you can put three products and that's it. It's not too big where it's hard to carry around. It's just the perfect size according to me. They are very, very sturdy. As I mentioned previously, I, they have been in my kit for more than two years. My kit moves around the city, goes up, down the stairs. 
and these palettes are none of them broke and because they are made of metal they also really protect the products that are inside and they are very light i know uh, of some other palettes that are made of cardboard and they break right away because obviously cardboard is not you know a very sturdy material and weirdly they weigh a lot more than these ones when they are empty. I love the fact that there is also a window um, so you can see what's inside which I find it just more practical so you can work a little bit faster. The only thing I have to say is that they are not super easy to find because it's still a smaller company um, and they are based in Ontario in Canada so that's where I'm from so that's lucky. The price of a palette is a little bit expensive I guess it's 25 Canadian dollars so it's not cheap especially when you want to have multiple it's it has a cost for sure but when I was doing my research to make this video I actually found out that pretty much all of this style of palette like magnetic palettes are around the same price you know that at least these ones are really good quality and they are going to last you for a long time so it's just an investment that you have to make at the beginning i actually have to reorganize them a little because i find that some of them don't really work for me like for example i have two of them that are filled with um, colorful eyeshadow when i literally never ever use colorful eyeshadows on jobs so i might switch it up at some point and that's another reason why it's great to have magnetic palettes is because you can like keep moving them around and reorganize them depending on what you need at the moment so there's probably gonna be another depotting reorganizing my kit video coming on my channel pretty soon so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that and if you could also like this video you know it's always very helpful for small channels when you leave a comment and you like a video because youtube is very very big and my channel is very very small so thank you for your support and also some of the links that are in the description box are affiliate links so thank you if you're deciding to shop through these links because it doesn't cost you more money but it gives me a few cents here and there and it's money that i can reinvest into my channel to give you better content if you can't put your hands on one of these perfect palettes there is an alternative that I said previously that I don't like but I, I think it's the best alternative that I've found so far. It's the Fuset palettes. If you're familiar with Depotting, you have heard about the brand. It's probably the most popular brand and I remember buying my first Fuset empty palettes more than 10 years ago. So they've been around for a very long time. I currently have three of them in my kit. The first one is this one. I've had it for a very long time, like the, the actual container. And as you can see, there is nine bigger inserts and there is six smaller ones. And I depotted in it on my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. But as you can see, even after many years of usage, um, the container still looks great. They are very sturdy. They are great, like I have no complaint about the Z palette. The only reason why I'm not really using them anymore is because they're just so hard to clean. Like it's, honestly, it's very close to hell. Let's say that this shade is expired, but not the other ones. Well, it's kind of annoying to clean, like without messing everything else. Or when all of this product is going to be expired and I have to like, entirely clean the container to refill it with a fresh product it is going to take me so long because you really have to go in all the little corners with a q-tip like it's just so tedious to do using individual pans is a lot easier to clean if there is one shade that's expiring you just take it off the palette and replace it with a fresh pan like it's it's just so much easier to use so that's why i've stop using Fuset for practical reasons but still they are really great containers they have so many different shapes so if that's the only thing you can put your hands on I would say to go for it and I also have two of the mini mini ones they are the smaller ones these ones are called Bella in this one I have some concealers and in that one I have some lip products like lip balms lipsticks um, and it's just to keep in my set bag because it's it's so small it's very easy for me to like 
carry around on set. And I actually have a video on my channel of when I created these two little palettes. So I will put it in the description box for you. These are great for any creamy product as long as they are not too liquidy or they are not going to melt because they are actually not sealed. Um, if you put different glitters in the different inserts and you shake up the palette, everything is going to be mixed up. So it's not sealed. You have to make sure that the products that you're putting inside of these palettes are thick enough so they can hold. Don't put anything that can dry up either because again, they are not airtight. I'd say that the only tool that you really need when you want to create um, some palettes like that is one of these little metal spatulas. It's super easy to find, it's pretty cheap, it allows you to do so many different things. So if you want to get into depotting, that's a tool that you absolutely need, it's an essential. Now for the liquid products, I have been using these little um, 20 milliliters bottles for quite some time now and I'm very happy with them. I find that the size is just perfect. It holds enough products for me to work on multiple jobs without having to refill it too often. I use them for my brush cleaner, for my toners, for some of my moisturizers, for all of my makeup removers. So anything that's liquid, liquid enough, it works and because it's a soft plastic the product is very easy to squeeze out but also the bottle is quite sturdy like I've never had any accident or any leaking in my kit so really great especially considering that I think they were pretty affordable I got them on Amazon I think there was like 40 of them and then for the products that are in a spray form I got these bottles that I believe are 20 milliliters as well um, so they just come with a little spray top like that and I like these ones in particular because I've tried different brands of spray bottles and a lot of them were clogged very easily especially when using products like setting sprays where you know there is this kind of part that's a little bit sticky it would stay stuck and dry up in the nozzle and then I wasn't able to use the spray bottle anymore. When I've been using these ones for quite some time now, I haven't had any issue with them. Um, they don't get clogged, they don't leak at all. The spray is great. It's not the finest spray, but also it doesn't like, you know, splatter like that. It's like right in the middle. So I use this mostly for my setting sprays and I also use them for my sanitizers when I just want to clean either my tools or my surfaces, just spray it around and that's it, it's done, it works. So these are really, really great for depotting as well. And if you've ever seen my kit, you know I have this black bag with the little foam inserts inside. These bottles are actually the perfect size to fit like up in, in my kit, which makes it very clean looking and super practical to use. Another container that quickly became an essential to my kit is these little clear boxes. I believe that they are initially made uh, to hold uh, photos, but I use them to keep all of my smaller products organized. For example, I have two of these with my foundations. So I obviously depotted my foundations because I don't need to have a full bottle with me. I depotted them into this tiny little squeezy bottles these ones are five milliliters and they have a little pointy tip like that so it's very clean to use you only pour the amount of product that you need and that's it there is no waste this is something that i would really recommend if you want to depot your liquid foundations because the bottles are usually very big and very heavy so i know it's a big big part of the weight that we have in our kit because we need so many different foundations, different finishes and different colors. So depotting them into one of these tiny bottles is just the best and I would really, really recommend you to try it out. I obviously had to find a way to keep all of these little bottles organized. So that's when I found these containers and it's been working really well. It really allows me to keep everything clean, visually looking 
so good and once again they are just the perfect size to be put up in my kit so i have these two for foundations one of them is all my face atelier foundation and the other one is a mix of everything but mostly your backstage i have another one of these containers for different complexion products so i have a liquid blush here liquid highlighter and here is a color adjuster for my foundation and i also have these little jars that I use to depot some of my creamy products and more so the products that I know need to be sealed airtight. For example, in that box where I'm keeping my creamy eyeshadows like the Eyes to Mesmerize from Charlotte Tilbury. If they are not put in an airtight container, they are going to dry up and it's just gonna be a waste. So that's why using some of these little jars is really great for some products that need to be sealed. They are super tiny, they are five grams I believe, which is more than enough for products like contour sticks, for um, lip gloss, for brow gel. I really like using these little containers as well for my actor set bag. Um, I put a little bit of their concealer on the other side, some of their lipstick, and I just throw it in my set bag. And the last box that I have is for some of my skincare products. So as you can see, I have some of the little droppers, these little jars where I'm keeping my lip balms. I actually have a full size lip balm in here because I didn't feel the need to depot it. And as you can see, I also have some of these bigger dropper bottles. This one is 10 milliliters. So this one is the 10 milliliters. And just for comparison, this one is the five. I find it great to have both sizes of these bottles because in the bigger ones, I can put the products that I use a little bit more. For example, like the eye makeup remover. In this one, I have the Umbreolis uh, moisturizer. So I can really customize it based on the products that I use the most at the moment. So that's pretty much it for the containers that I really, really use the most and the ones that I would 100% recommend if you want to get into the depotting world. They have proven many times that they are good quality, that they are sturdy and that they make my work easier. So that was just for you to have a global idea of what I have and what I do. If you want to have a bit more details about some of the products that I mentioned today, let me know in the comments. I always answer to everyone's question. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. I will put a video here for you to watch next, maybe a depotting video so you can see a little bit more into details how I created some of my palettes. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bisous